Greek gods, as we know, were not noble creatures, despite them being the pinnacle of humanity at the time. Most of the gods had flaws in their personalities due to the amount of power they held. This made them self-conceited, arrogant, lacking empathy, and having similar toxic traits. But among this, two of the gods hold a different place due to very different reasons. Before we get into it, for those who don't know, Zeus is the king of all Olympians and the god of thunder in the skies. He is the son of Cronus and Rhea and was raised by Gaia to protect him from his father, Cronus, from eating him. Later on, he comes back to the heavens and kills his father to become the king of all Olympians. On the other hand, Hades is the brother of Zeus. He is the god of all the unliving, hence the god of the underworld. Hades was born before Zeus, and Cronus ended up consuming him. But later, Zeus makes Cronus vomit his siblings along with Hades. And due to this very reason, Hades is considered younger than Zeus, despite being born before him. He who ate his first wife After Zeus became king, he and Metis were married, and she bore him a daughter, Athena, the goddess of wisdom. Metis was both a threat to Zeus and an indispensable aid. He laid with her, but immediately feared the consequences. It had been prophesied that she would bear extremely powerful children. The first was a daughter who would be wiser than her mother, and the second was a son more powerful than his father, who would eventually overthrow Zeus and become king of the cosmos in his place. In order to forestall these dire consequences, he tricked her into turning herself into a fly and swallowed her, taking her back by surprise. He was too late, however, for Metis was already pregnant with her first and only child, Athena. Metis crafted armor, a spear, and a shield for her daughter and raised her in Zeus's mind. He who abducted his first wife. Hades fell instantly in love with divinely beautiful Persephone when he saw her picking flowers one day in nature. He then asked his brother Zeus and the father of Persephone to assist him. And despite being her father, Zeus helped Hades devise a plan to capture her. While Persephone was picking flowers one day, the two gods caused the ground to split underneath her, and then she slipped beneath the earth. Thus, Hades was able to trap her in his underground kingdom, where he made her his wife. Meanwhile, Demeter started searching every corner of the earth for the precious daughter. It is said that Demeter's anger and sadness were so great, she created a drought to convince the gods to release her daughter from Hades. As the drought cost the lives of many, Zeus finally sent Hermes to persuade Hades to release his ill-gotten bride. Thus, a compromise was made. Hades consulted with Zeus, and they both decided to allow Persephone to live on Earth for eight months each year, while the rest of the time she would be on his side in the underworld. A Rapist and an Unfaithful Husband Greek mythology is labeled to have misogynistic gods, and why wouldn't it when their king was a rapist? If we start stating the time Zeus has non-consensually put a seed inside women, both mortal and immortal, this video will go on for hours. From creepy acts like abducting women to desperate acts of disguising himself into another human, a swan, and even a golden shower to impregnate women, Zeus has done it all. He did all of this, hiding it all from his second wife, Hera, and managed to escape consequences all the time. And when she found out about it, Hera ended up punishing the victims instead of Zeus. One of the most interesting Zeus rapist stories of all time involves the virgin Callisto. She swore her virginity to Artemis, the goddess of the hunt, and the two were extremely close. Zeus decided that wouldn't do, because what's the fun in leaving a beautiful woman alone in Greek myth? He decided he'd disguise himself as the goddess Artemis and persuade Callisto to enter a forest, where he reveals his true identity and then rapes her. The God of the Dead and Unholy Being the God of the Dead, Hades' name, has become synonymous with death. Despite popular belief, Hades is not responsible for taking lives. That job is of Thanatos, a primordial winged god who was the twin of the god of sleep, Hypnos. Thanatos is who sweeps down to take the soul and cause a person to die and become a member of Hades' kingdom. Thus, it might be fair to say, Hades' evil might be a slight exaggeration. In reality, he has always stayed loyal and protective of his wife and kids, while also having a pet dog. Along with this, Hades is mostly said to be minding his own business when it comes to conflicts among the gods, 
apart from his obvious desire to recreate 365 days with Persephone, a possessive husband. Two heroes of Greek mythology named Pirithous and Theseus pledged to marry the daughters of Zeus. Theseus chose Helen of Sparta, and together they kidnapped her when she was 13 years of age and decided to hold on to her until she was old enough to marry. Pirithous chose a more dangerous prize, Persephone herself, Hades' wife. Theseus objected and tried to talk him out of it, as this act would be too blasphemous, but Pirithous insisted, and Theseus was bound by his oaths, so he agreed. They left Helen with Theseus' mother, Aethra, and traveled to the underworld, but soon this plan failed as Hades trapped the both of them in the underworld. When they stopped to rest, they found themselves unable to stand up from the rock as their butts were glued to it. He had committed too great a crime for wanting the wife of one of the great gods as his bride and was fed to Cerberus. An Evil Trickster God Remember how we told Zeus cursed Prometheus to get his liver eaten? A long time after, when the son of Prometheus was of good age, he managed to free Prometheus from the lifelong torture. But to punish the creations of Prometheus yet again, Zeus devised a plan. He created a beautiful woman named Pandora. While creating her, Zeus made her mind to be more curious than most. She was then presented to Prometheus' brother Epimetheus. Epimetheus soon fell in love with this curious woman and married her. At the wedding, Pandora was presented with a box as a gift from Zeus and told not to open it. Knowing Pandora's curiosity would make her open the box, the box was filled with evils, hunger, drought, and such sufferings. Soon after, Pandora opened the box due to her curiosity, and the sufferings of the world were released, and the burden of the blame was put onto Pandora. A god so evil he would have his creation suffer to suffice his immoral needs. Such a god is no god, rather a puppet to his ego and temperament. So there you have our conclusion. It is fair to say that Zeus has committed way more selfish evils than Hades. Heck, Zeus almost makes Hades look like a noble god. Do you agree with our conclusion? Please let us know in the comments down below and make sure to like and subscribe to keep updated on our content.